Hey, what's up, guys? What's going on? Hey, I hope everybody out there is catching a bunch of fish this summer. Uh, I know I haven't really been catching much because I haven't had a chance to get out there because of work. But anyway, I've got my LTB box for the month of July. And I want to tell you guys, uh, about the middle of June, they sent out an, an email um, about a teaser about what this box is all about. Now, this is the box. This is the Bass XL box. Um, and the email that they sent saying it's supposed to be a topwater box. Well, I love topwater baits. So, I'm excited about this box. I'm excited to see what's in here because I've been dying to do some topwater fishing. I've done a little bit here and there, um, and I just haven't had the best of luck. But hopefully what's in here, hopefully I catch some decent fish. Uh, now anyway, topwater, those of you that don't really know much about topwater fishing, um, what else you're going to need? What kind of things you're going to need? Well, you're going to need either a medium heavy or a heavy rod. Um, you could use a 6.8, you could use a 7 foot, you could use a 7.3. Um, you could use any size, whatever you feel comfortable with. Now, uh, bank fishing, or maybe you're, for, you're in the boat and you sit a little lower to the water, you might want to use a smaller, uh, smaller link like a 6.8. Um, but I like to use a 7 foot, medium heavy, and the reel, it depends. It depends on where you're throwing. Uh, the reel, you could use like a 6 gear ratio or a 7 gear ratio. Uh, well, maybe not a 6, but at least a 7, a 7, and an 8 is the, your best bet. Um, you do not want to use fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon line sinks. You want to make sure you're using mono or you're using braid. Now, I like to use like 50 pound braid. I might go up to 65 pounds. Um, but a lot of lakes in my area, a lot of the grass for some reason is not coming back up. I don't know why. Um, I don't know if they put something in the water. I don't know. I mean, we didn't really have a very cold winter to kill it off. So I don't know what's going on. Um, but I like to use the 50 pound, uh, 50 pound braid line and uh, the floor, yeah, do not use fluorocarbon. You do, yeah, because it'll sink and it will affect the reaction to your bait. Now, when you're throwing a, uh, a top water bait that has a lot of action to it, a lot of movement, like maybe you're, uh, you know, you're throwing a plastic frog on top and you're letting it run across the top, you're going to need something with a little higher gear ratio. Um, you know, upper sevens, maybe an eight. Um, eh, eight might be too much for that, but you want at least a seven. You don't want to go too fast because the fish won't be able to catch up to it. Um, but you know, frog, a regular frog or a popper, something like that. You could, you, I mean, you could probably get away with using a six, six gears. Um, but if you're throwing over grass and heavy vegetation, you need a higher gear ratio to get that fish out of there because when they hit that bait they're going to go down. They're going to want to go down and they're going to get you all snagged up and you may lose the fish. So you need something with a higher gear ratio and you need a rod that has a good backbone to get that fish out of there. All right, enough about that. Let's see. Let's see what we got in the box here. Again, I am excited about this box. All right, first up we got the golden ticket. Those of you who don't know about the golden ticket, you need to watch the LTB live on the 20th of every month and you'll know all about this golden ticket you can win prizes all right uh, here's a little card that uh, talks about uh, the top water baits well not really about the baits but just kind of um, just tells you hey your box is about top water all right what do we got here uh, okay this is interesting all right well, we've got some uh, pain relieving ointment, ultra strength tiger balm, and it's like a, it has a bunch of different language on here. But uh, this is interesting. I've never seen this before. Uh, I guess uh, it's supposed to be good when you get sunburned or you got dry lips or whatever. I don't know. I don't use this stuff. All right. All right. What do we got here? We got pick your own lucky tackle box. Snap back. Snap back. It looks like you can get a hat. Only ten dollars. Sweet. You know, those of you who like to wear hats, I like to wear hats in the winter time. I don't usually wear them in the summertime. It's too hot. Uh, looks like I got the baits on the back. All right, we'll get to that in a minute. All right, looks like you got your uh, Fish Out magazine. Got Mark Daniels on the front. You know, I've seen quite a few videos of him. He's a pretty cool dude. 
If you haven't seen it, you might want to go check them out. Um, there's a there's a there's a video out there where uh, our him and Scott Martin do like a Scott Martin challenge, dude. That is hilarious. I love that. I, I love it when Scott does those. Those are those are pretty awesome. All right, let's see what we got in here first. All right, uh, looks like we've got Mustad hooks three pack, three odd hooks, uh, big bite soft plastic hooks. Pretty sweet. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, big bite hooks. They got them priced for two ninety nine uh, on the card here. I guess that's their three hooks. Doesn't really say uh, how many in here on the sheet. Not bad. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Ooh. You know, a buddy of mine got some of these. This is the Z-Man Pop Shed. A buddy of mine got some of these uh, last year, and uh, I've been I've been curious. I've been wanting to try these things. Now this says that uh, that a Laztec. Made by this elastic plastic, but uh, there it is. It's like a popper, like a plastic popper, something different. Um, you don't have a scent, but uh, this is made by Elastec. Uh, this is the same stuff that they use for those Ned rigs that are out there. You know, the little the little TRD baits, um, which is pretty cool. Okay, you know, because a fish will bite into these things and it won't break. Um, so yeah. Um, I, I mean, I mean, I really like these things. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to try these. I think it'll be a pretty killer bait. And uh, and yeah, I really like the colors. I like green, pumpkin, yellow. I like color of a frog color. Ah. <laughs> All right. Cool. This is a three pack. Uh, four inch. And it says here that it goes for four forty nine. Sweet. And actually, you could probably use these hooks for that. Oh, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, here we go. Uh, this is a BD Series, Boyd Duckett Series Popper. Pretty sweet. And this is only in the, in the Bass XL box. It's got a rattle in it. You know, those of you that don't have the XL box, you guys are missing out. It's only a couple dollars more a month, and it's and believe me, it's worth it. But uh, but yeah, I really like the little little feather tail there. Kind of gives it a little more a uh, little more flair. It looks like it has uh, uh, yeah. You know, when the sunlight hits that, it'll see it. Fish might think it's a uh, might think it's you know part of the frog. But yeah, I really like poppers. Poppers are cool looking baits. Alright, that's Boyd Duckett's. Five ounce popper. Tournament grade hooks. Cool. Yeah, I like that. Alright, what else we got in here? Alright, looks like we've got a... What is this? Genko? Genko, is that what it is? J E N K O Jenko fishing. Uh, all right, this says it's a walking bait. Kind of a weird name for a bait, but uh, says it's a flea bag. Kind of interesting. Never heard of a bait called a flea bag before. You, but you know, like well, you know, like walking the dog, I guess. Um, you know, I haven't I've I haven't done very good on these pencil baits before. Um, yeah, something like this you probably need a longer rod for to kind of get that extra that extra pull on it. But uh, this one here, it's a flea bag 110. Says it's new for 2017. And it goes for $7.99. Pretty nice little rattle to it. I really like the colors in this. A little crackle on the top. It's pretty cool looking, pretty cool looking uh, looking bait there, but Ooh, it has a weird smell to it. Maybe it's the package it came out of. But uh, but yeah, it's a cool cool hard bait. Pretty sticky hooks. Yeah, I really like that. What did I say? This is that goes for $7.99. Sweet. Yeah, I'll put them away later. Alright, what else do we have in here? We've got Alright, uh what the heck is this? Okay, 
flipping the bird. Uh, I get to flip the bird with you guys. Hey, hey. Flipping you the bird. All right, uh, but anyway, I've never thrown one of these before. It's all black, hollow body, so it's $11.99. Yeah, I don't know, I've never, I've never caught anything off this, but I guess, but I guess this might be something good in the spring or something if I guess if a bird falls off a tree and a bass sees it, even there's little legs on the bottom. Um, but yeah, you know, hollow body, And yeah, hopefully there's going to be enough there for the fish to get a hold of. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'll try it. Something I've never tried before. Why not? All right. Um, what did I say that one for? That one for eleven ninety nine. All right. What is this? Bruiser baits. Kicking frog. Four ninety nine. It has a weird scent to it. Almost kind of has the. Let's see what is this? Is this uh? It kind of has that. I've been on a shelf life for a long time type smell. Kind of weird. But yeah, kind of does. Sorry, I'm sure it hasn't been on the shelf on a shelf for a long time, but it kind of has that weird smell. But uh, but yeah, it's like a black. I know it's kind of hard to see. Sorry if my lighting is not that great down here, but it looks kind of looks like it's a black, maybe a little bit of green with red flake in there. You know, the darker colored frogs seem to work the best. You want to try to get a natural uh, natural color. You, know, you gotta try to, you know, I, fish love the green. I've I've been really successful with with like the green colored type frogs, the green black. Well, it's kind of black, black, green, green pumpkin. It doesn't really have a. Yeah, it doesn't really have a uh, color on here, but it looks like there's four in here. And I've got some hooks and stuff that I could put in there. You can. You might be able to use these uh, one of these here, these must-add hooks. Texas rig it. I don't know, those hooks might be too big for it, but we'll see. We'll see what I can do. All right, now we got something here that I've never seen before. Uh, Evolution, what is this? Evolution Baits, the Grass Burner, Evolution, and Buzz Baits. Huh, interesting. Yeah, it's kind of a buzz, kind of a buzz bait, buzz bait, top water bait. I mean, those of you throwing buzz baits before, you know, they're very good to throw, throw early in the morning or in the evening. It's just like a frog. I think evening's best when it's getting dark. They hear that noise, they come after it. Here it is. Here. That's a prop. Nice long skirt. You may have to trim the skirt a little bit so the fish will come up and come up and grab the not and, and not grab the skirt. You still want to keep that hook hidden. Not bad, not a bad bait. It doesn't feel let's see, I don't even know if there's a weight on this thing. It's a chartreuse white. Yeah, there's no weight on it. But I guess just like any other buzz bait, when you throw it it's gonna sink a little bit until you bring it up top. But yeah, it looks like it's got some pretty good, uh, pretty good blades on it. The blade doesn't stick. Sweet. I don't know. It's interesting. Something different to try. Never tried one of these before. All right. Well, that looks like it. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. This bait here goes for $24.99. And you know that's that's pretty cool because you know $24.99 pretty much pays for the box. This is what I mentioned earlier. You got the guy, all you guys out there that are not getting the XL box, you don't know what you're missing. I mean, um, I don't know if you got this in your normal box. I mean, this says it's new for 2017, but you figure all these other baits, I mean, there's 
Well, there's some pretty cool looking topwater baits in here. You got this and this. I mean, this is $11.99 by itself. You know, I mean, just between these two, what, what, 35 bucks? 35, 36 bucks. I mean, and so basically you paid for the box and you got everything else for free. Yeah, not a bad deal. I like it. You try out different things, new things. Um, but anyway, that's all for the LTB box. And um, I want to show you something else that I've got that I had painted up since we're doing a top water box. These are killer. A buddy of mine, I just picked these up. I don't want to mention his name on here. Some of you might know him. But I just picked these up. Now, I mentioned to you before that I like poppers. Okay, we're talking about the BD series. Check this bad boy out. This is a frog colored popper. It's got a pretty sweet looking little feather on it. A rattle on it. I think the only thing that I might try, I've got two of these. I might paint the mouth red on this one and, and leave the other one white. But let me tell you something. You know, a buddy of mine paints these things up, and I don't know if he wants me to say his name on here, but these are sweet. These are going to be some killer baits. You know, when this thing is sitting in the water like this, that fish sees that green, they see that tail, oh yeah, it's going to be a good one. But if you want, I'll put the link to his website down in the description. And, uh, yeah, he's got a lot of other stuff that he paints up to as well. But yeah, I love these. I can't wait to get, get, get these out here and try them out. So, but anyway, I want to get out here and I want to try to do the, the Top Water, LTB Top Water Box Challenge. I'm hoping to get out there next week. We'll see. Um, the weather is going to be kind of iffy because um, it's, been, it's been over 100 degrees the last couple days. It's a little warm. It might be a little hard to do some top water fishing. I just got to make sure I get up early enough to where I could get there before it starts getting really hot. But anyway, if you guys liked the video, Give me a thumbs up, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys out on the water next week, and I'll try to see if I can catch some fish on these baits. So if you guys want to subscribe to LTV, check out the link below. Um, go check them out. I mean, you know, summer is halfway over. If you like to fish, go check them out and take advantage of some of these awesome baits that, uh, uh, that LTV sends out. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.